feast of Saint Mark the Evangelist. He's he's a Jewish, and also not among the twelve. Though he's not among the twelve, my dear friends, he 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 knew just Jesus personally according to tradition because he's the cousin of Barnabas, and uh, traveled with Paul throughout his journeys. And he's the one person who experienced death of uh, persecution of St. Paul in Rome. And he's very close to Peter and Paul. Called Peter the priest of the apostles. And, and he was, after the martyrdom of Peter and Paul, Mark went to Alexandria. And that's exactly why he's patron saint of Alexandria. And in, in Alexander, he wrote the gospel, it's the first gospel. He wrote the gospel in, uh, in 60 AD. And uh, in Alexandria, he, he started converting Alexandrian people. And in 68 AD, he was persecuted, placed the rope around his neck and dragged him through the streets until he was dead. And this, this great personality, he started evangelizing with his writing skills. And that's exactly in the first letter of Peter, in the first reading, it is said, Beloved, clothe yourself, all of you, with humility towards one another. Now imagine, said Mark, to write the other people is saying, and he, he, was, he was with Peter and Paul. What a humble personality. And then, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. This humble person he was, he was obedient. And uh, he witnessed the death of Paul. And uh, so he, he still, imagine his, his neck was tied into a rope and dragged him because he never wanted to pin, never wanted to say no to the Lord. He wanted to say yes to him. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that the power, the proper time, He may exalt you. That's exactly, exactly how we have this feast today. Mark, that simple man, is now great because he's wrote the gospel. Your adversary, the devil, crawls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So this is exactly why we should be vigilant. We should be mindful, aware, how the devil is trying to devour you. So it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual comeback, my dear friends, where you are called to be aware. Resist him firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering and being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. No, so in, in pain, when Mark was persecuted, when Mark saw Peter and Paul, they were persecuted. And, and yet, he was enduring. He knew that I have to go through the same thing when he witnessed St. Paul's persecution in Rome. And he, he was never David discouraged, he was never scared. But then he still in the last moment was fighting the battle. And that's exactly why. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to this eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen and establish you. So this is exactly what happened to Paul. It's what happened to Mark. But dear friends, he personally knew Jesus. Though he was not among the twelve, he could have been, you know, why I am not chosen and why I am not there. Yet, he was a humble person. He, he just obeyed the Lord. And he pers what he knew, what he experienced, he wanted to die for that. And he is a person who used all the talents for, the, for evangelization. His writing skills, so all the talents. He was, he was using for the glory of God. To him be the domain of forever and ever. Amen. So this is exactly, I have written bravely, briefly to you, 
exhorting, declaring that this is the true grace of God. Stand firm in it. She who is at Babylon, who is likewise chosen, sends you greetings. And so does Mark, my son, greet one another with the kiss of love. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Mark, my son, Peter is calling him my son. What a, what a beloved character, isn't it? So this is how he was chosen. And he was chosen and broken. Broken and sent in his own way. He went to Alexandria. Alexandria and started proclaiming the gospel there. He was started converting all the pagans. So he was threatened. After that, he was killed, persecuted. Yet, his mission was never stopped. My dear friends, that's exactly the Lord is, Lord is saying. Appearing to 11, Jesus said to them, Go into, the, into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Like Mark went to Alexandria. And he, he, the, in his way of proclaiming is writing the gospel. Collecting. He's the first to write, my dear friends. So among the synoptics, Mark, Luke, Matthew, he's the first to write. 60 AD, he wrote the gospel. So he had to, he had to find his own sources. From for Luke and Matthew, Mark's gospel is one of the main sources. And for Mark, he had to initiate this. And see, he was so focused for the mission. And then the whole, whoever believes in it, baptized, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Now in how to, how to you, how you can, how you can inflict belief into a person. In, in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, it is said, you will, by hearing, you will have faith. By preaching, you will hear. So this is how Mark, Mark and Gospel is written. And this is how Mark and Gospel is a strength, a awareness for us to have faith. And then he says, the Lord is saying, and these signs will accomplish those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink a deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So, Mark is the one who initiated it. Mark is the one who wrote it. To give whatever he can, he has to give the Lord. And it's a great, he's a great example for us. I mean, persecution, terrible trauma, even before death. He accepted the Lord. He said yes to the Lord. And that yes is huge. That's how that pain is power in your mission. If you suffer, there is power in your mission. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. So that's how the Lord went with them. Lord's glory manifested in the mission they were doing. The Lord is saying, well, you preach. I will, I will accomplish, accompany them. I will confirm the message by accompanying the miracles. So this is how Jesus, Jesus, Mark experienced the power of God and his, his toil, his blood, his life has borne witness and he, what he did through a, out of lot of struggle and pain is now a gem of experience for us. What he wrote is good news for us and his initiative is of paramount importance. Learn from Mark, be another Mark. Think about your talents. Use it for the glory of God. Till you die, don't ever, don't ever be discouraged before persecution and rejection and pain and agony. Amen. May God bless you.